Leo is going to introduce you to our first project this semester, which is called Contemporary Business Skills. Now, this semester, all of our projects are going to have multiple components or deliverables. You'll be completing these pieces of the project in order, in order to help you build the project as we go. So project one will introduce you to the common style and formatted conventions of business writing while allowing you to investigate the soft and technical skills needed for success in a contemporary global business world. You will use your research and writing skills from English 1010 to complete this project. Whenever you look at one of our assignment sheets, you're going to see at the top of the sheet, the deliverables or the individual assignments for the project will be listed with their point values. For this project, you will be doing a primary source synthesis memo, a preliminary source list, um, a short three-page academic essay that involves three sources, a business message revision, and a justification email. So like most of the assignments in our class, we'll be using kind of a fictional approach to real world situations. So in this case, you'll be writing a series of deliverables to various audiences that are specified. So for this project, the COVID-19 pandemic created enormous shifts in the business world. But even before the pandemic shift, the business world had been transformed by the growing importance of the internet, social media, and other technologies. For this project, you will research the professional communication skills that are most necessary and important for successful business professionals. Then you will present the results of your research for two different audiences. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to write an essay, and this is using the same skills that you used in English 1010. So you're going to write a three-page essay where you make a persuasive argument for the most important communication skills a business professional needs in the contemporary global workplace. You will be using a combination of primary sources, which will be interviews with families and friends, and secondary sources, which will include library or internet research to support your argument. Once you're done with the essay, we're going to take that essay and we are going to revise it into a business document. You'll be considering which audiences would be best served by the information, and you'll select an appropriate channel or type of document for that audience. You'll revise both the content and the format of the essay to meet the needs of a new audience, a business audience. And then finally, you'll be writing a justification statement addressed to me, the professor, to explain how the channel, the format, and the content of your revised message is appropriate and effective for your chosen audience. So as I said before, this project has a series of deliverables. Um, the first thing that you'll be doing is a preliminary source list. This will be a preliminary list of at least five sources from your early research. You'll be formatting your sources in APA citation style, and they must have some sources from the PGCC library. If you did not use the PGCC library or the databases in your English 1010 class, it's important that you reach out for help to the professor or the campus writing center. Any gener general internet sources that you find and decide to use have to be appropriate for both a business and an academic audience. Our next deliverable is a primary source synthesis memo. So to understand the needs of the contemporary business world, you're going to locate at least three people to interview about their experiences. You should find family and friends who have career-oriented positions. You'll want to develop questions to ask them what are the most important communication skills necessary for professionals today? And how have the requirements and technologies for communication changed in the last 5, 10, 15 or more years? You'll take that information and you'll synthesize it in a memo addressed to the instructor. And if this seems a little confusing, don't worry, we're going to have individual modules and activities to help you do this as you work through the project. What's most important though, is you're gonna look for themes in the interviews. You'll group the information you learned by topic, not by interview subject. So you won't go person by person by person, you'll decide what topics these people have discussed. You'll explain the similarities and the overlap between the people you interviewed and identify any differences. Then you'll take both your secondary sources and your primary sources and you'll create an academic essay. Um, this is the exact same kind of essay that you did in English 1010. It should have an introduction, strong body paragraphs, and a conclusion. You'll use your research in that essay, citing it appropriately, and we'll be using APA citation style for that essay. 
Then when you're done with the essay, you're going to take the essay itself and we're going to transform it. And this is so you can really start to understand the difference between the type of writing you do in academic classes and the type of writing you're going to be required to do in the professional workplace. So when your essay is done, you're going to deliver that same information to a non-academic audience. You're going to think about what audience might need or be interested in that information, and you're going to select an appropriate delivery method for that audience. The delivery method is called the channel. You're going to revise your essay into a new document using appropriate formatting and business style for your audience and channel. And with that business message revision, you're going to write a cover letter addressed to the professor that explains the choices you made. You'll be talking about why you chose the audience you chose, why you selected the channel you picked, and why the choices you've made for revision are effective and appropriate for the audience you picked out. Um, you'll want to provide details about the changes you made and really make a persuasive argument for why you've succeeded. So this project will happen over the course of multiple days and weeks in class. All of the due dates are listed in the syllabus and individual modules in our Canvas course will help walk you through each of the deliverables step by step. If you have any questions or need any help, it's important that you reach out to the professor and don't get behind. Um, 